in Gatineau, Quebec. We're at the Canadian Museum of History, joined by Chantal Emio, Director of Exhibitions and Visitor Experience. So, Chantal, thank you so much for joining us on You Canadians. My pleasure. Um, can you tell us where we're standing uh, here in the museum and also just what the museum encompasses as a whole? Sure. We're standing in the Canadian History Hall, a large permanent exhibition, 40,000 square feet, that showcases the history of Canada from 15,000 years ago to today. Beautiful, broad strokes about the Canadian history. But the museum at large is much bigger. We have a First Peoples Hall, we have a Children's Museum, we have an IMAX theater, we have the Grand Hall, and we also have a series of special temporary exhibition where we showcase the world. We showcase Canadian history, Canadian subject, and also a lot of international subject through our special exhibitions. For instance, in the months to come, we are going to showcase Queens of Egypt. <laughs> so you can see we, we really welcome the world in the museum. Right. And when you mention Canadian subjects, I'm interested in digging into that, that a little bit deeper. Um, can you tell us what you mean by that? Yes, so in the Canadian History Hall, it is really a history of Canada. So we really do the broad strokes and we go through 15,000 years of history. But in temporary exhibition, we can delve deeper into specific subjects. One exhibition that is going to come is on civil liberties, giving you an example. We have had one on 1867. We can have one on, you know, on uh, sleighs. So we, our, our stories are very broad and they can focus very on specific uh, parts of Canadian history. Of course, we have the First People's Hall, and that is all about Indigenous history. And while we always celebrate the great um, parts of, again, who we are, um, where we come from and who we are, there's also a dark side of Canada that's showcased here. So can you go into that, uh, that for us? Yes. Uh, I mean, we have to be very transparent in what we see, and there are moments of our history that are very dark, uh, that are very violent, that are very unfair. And so it's important to show them, it's important to be mature enough to accept that, yes, these things were done, to admit it, uh, and sometimes to apologize and to show Absolutely. where we're at today. And so these, uh, the, the events that are showcased here, that are presented here, show, show really a multitude of events, but we don't shy away from the dark stories. Before we built this hall, we uh, did a call out to Canadians on what they really wanted to know and, and what they were interested in. And the number one topic was Indigenous history. People want to understand Indigenous history. Reconciliation is hugely important. There are, as I said, some moments in our past that we're not proud of. We do talk about residential schools and the effect it had, and we are really sure that it's not the museum voice that talks, it's really those who have lived it and, and their families that talk about these difficult subjects. And that is one step into reconciliation. It, first of all, it's opening the dialogue, working with the different communities, showing their perspectives. Mm -hmm. And you know, currently we are a country and a culture where so many different people from all over the world come together and live and work and play. Yeah. Um, are you hopeful for a future that will further proliferate that? Yes. Why so? Yeah, it's a, in working on this hall, you really see the different waves of immigration and how it affected Canada and who we are today, how it molded and shaped Canada. And so we have seen that, you know, even though I think a lot of Canadians think we've always been very open and open arm, it was not always the case. So we show this, we show how it's evolved and how we are progressing. And we are at that stage now. So of course, you know, there's a lot of room for hope. Absolutely, and we talked about a story where a Vietnamese family sponsored Syrian refugees, and I'm just yes. curious how you were able to collect that story for the museum. Well, that is the role of the historians and the curators. So they're out there, they always have their antennas, looking, reading. In, in this case, it's truly contemporary history, so it's what's happening now. So you keep your eyes on the news, you, keep your, you talk to communities, you talk to different groups, so that's how they get to get really those stories. And we are always looking for stories that encompass a lot you know that are able to talk to many people amazing well Chantal thank you so much for your time today my pleasure